Today's question is, when a divorce attorney contacts the opposing attorney demanding that one party not contact the other, is this an intimidation tactic? Not usually, but it's often, not always, but often a posturing and passive aggressive move. Unless the court orders no contact between the parties, no communication, there is no law or rule that bars the parties, even when represented by counsel, from communicating with each other during the pendency of a lawsuit. There are situations where it's clear good sense for one party to a divorce to want no contact with the other party, such as when one party is physically and or emotionally abusing the other party. No contact may be necessary for the other party's protection. There are situations where the client needs to be protected from himself or herself too, such as when the client, when speaking with the other party, could be tricked into making damaging disclosures, admissions, or agreements that the party need not and should not make with the other side. No contact may be necessary to protect the client in such a situation as well. Sometimes no contact may be warranted, if not absolutely necessary, if and when the party wanting no contact desires no contact because the other party's efforts at communication are not productive but simply excessive and or annoying. Otherwise, when the attorney for a party sends the your client is hereby on notice that she is not to have further communication with my client kind of letter or email, it's usually posturing or an attempt to ensure that attorney has more control over his or her own client and the case. Some attorneys like the you are to have no contact except through me policy because it then leads to the attorney being more involved in the case so that the attorney can unduly control the client and or bill the client more.